Okay, here we're going to look at an example of intercompany sales between two affiliated companies here that will have consolidated financial statements. We'll look at how to calculate the profits on these sales and allocate the profits between the uh, realized and the unrealized amounts. And then we'll show how to make the eliminations for these intercompany uh, profits here as well as on the sales. The example will be based on a, a subsidiary corporation S and a parent corporation P that will have ending in inventory on their intercompany sales. We'll show how this ending inventory affects both the uh, intercompany profits as well as the sales. Okay, here we're going to look at how we calculate our profits here on sales between affiliated companies for consolidation purposes. And for example, here we're going to have a subsidiary company selling $200,000 worth of goods to a parent company. So the subsidiary would have sales of $200,000 and they would move over into the parent company's inventory account here for $200,000. And then for this example here, we're going to have an ending inventory on those sales here. So the parent company would only have sold $120,000 worth of those goods to the outsider, to the outside buyer here. So uh, those $120,000 worth of goods would move out of the inventory account into the cost of goods sold here for the uh, sales to the outside here. And then our sales would be $180,000. And our uh, cost of goods sold here on those sales that the uh, subsidiary made to the parent here are $160,000. So from here, we can go and we can calculate our intercompany profits and uh, our sales here that would have to be eliminated for, con for consolidation purposes. All right, to determine the profit on the sales from the subsidiary to the parent and also from the parent corporation to the outside uh, buyers or the outside sales here. We start with the profit margin here that uh, on the sales that the subsidiary made to the parent. And we're gonna use that profit margin to determine any uh, profit sitting in inventory and any profits here that were sold to the outside sources. So starting here with our Corporation S, with the profit based on there's inner company sales here to Corporation P are $40,000 and they're calculated as follows here. So we have sales to Corporation P for $200,000, cost of goods sold, uh, and those sales here was $160,000, so that gives us a profit here of $40,000. So our gross profit ratio would be the profit of $40,000 here divided by the sales of $200,000 and that would be 20% here. And that's the profit ratio that we're going to use to determine whatever um, um, profit here is sitting in inventory and the profit here that was sold on those cost of goods sold to um, for the outside sales here. Okay, now to determine the profit that the subsidiary corporation would have in these cost of goods sold on the sale to the outside parties here. So go down to our calculation here. Corporation P sold $180,000 worth of goods here to the outside parties. And uh, there would be $24,000 worth of profit here for uh, subcorporation S or corporation S here in those uh, cost of goods sold or in those sales here to the of $180,000 to the outside parties here. So calculating that, we'd have sales here of $120,000. Now that's the amount of inventory that was uh, sold here to the outside sales, which was purchased here from uh, subcorporation S. And then the cost of goods sold, well, that would be $96,000 here. And that's calculated based on our profit here. Now to determine our profit, all we do is take 20%, our profit ra uh, gross profit ratio that we determined earlier here, and we take that times the sales of $120,000 here. So we have a profit here of 120,000 times 20%, that gives us 20 $24,000 worth of profit here. So our profit would be $24,000. And then to calculate our cost of goods sold, well, we would just take the sales here, uh, less the uh, profit here of $24,000. That gives us a cost of goods sold here of $96,000. Now that is what we would consider here realized inner corporation or inner company profit because that was sold to the outside sources. 
All right, to determine the profit that's sitting in ending inventory or the unsold inventory. So Corporation S has a profit on the sales of Corporation P of $40,000 that we calculated here. And then we would subtract out Corporations uh, S or the subcorporations profit on the inventory that was sold to the outside here for $24,000. So the difference between the total profit here of $40,000 less the sales here of $24,000 gives us a remaining profit here an ending inventory of $16,000. We could have also calculated that just by taking the ending inventory here of $80,000 times the 20% gross profit ratio here. That would also give us $16,000. But this $16,000 would be unrealized inter intercompany profit here. That would be the unrealized portion here of the total profit that uh, the subcorporation would have recorded here uh, to the parent corporation. Okay, now our adjusting entries and our eliminations on this consolidation between the parent and the subsidiary co company here on our inner company uh, sales and our inner company profits here. First, our sales to the parent corporation, that would be eliminated here by debiting sales for $200,000. And then we would credit the cost of goods sold on those sales for $160,000 to remove that. And then we would have cost of goods sold. Uh, those were the inventoried amounts here that were sold to the outside here. So we would credit our cost of goods sold for $24,000 on those outside sales. And then we would credit our inventory account here for uh, $16,000. That would be the remaining inventory. So this cost of goods sold here to the outside for $24,000, that was the realized inner corporate profit here. And then this inventory, uh, reducing that by $16,000, that was the unrealized portion of this inner company profit. Okay, to summarize our consolidating entries. First, our sales here for the subcorporation to the parent corporation for $200,000. That would have been debited here uh, for $200,000. So that would have been eliminated here. And then the cost of goods sold on those sales here would have been divided up as follows here. So we have the cost of goods sold on those $200,000 worth of sales. We would have credited that or reduced that or removed that here. And then we have the cost of goods sold on that inventory amount that we sold to the outside sources here for $24,000. And that would have been a realized profit here. So we would go up here and we'd credit or reduce our cost of goods sold to the outside sources here for the parent. And then the uh, remaining amount here was the uh, $16,000 of unrealized profit. And what we would do in that case is we'd go up and we would credit or reduce our inventory account here, uh, the parent's inventory account on those um, purchased um, amounts here from the subsidiary for $16,000. So that's a summary here on how we'd eliminate here our sales and our cost of goods sold on those inner company sales uh, for between the parent comp or between the subsidiary and the parent company for the sales amount and also any profits that were realized and unrealized in this case.